Jeff, before I let you go, do you think, if you were a betting man, would you bet on Elon Musk still owning Twitter in a calendar year? Yeah, I think he'll still own it. I, I'm not exactly sure who's going to buy it off of him. Um, <laughs> it, it all depends on what he ends up doing with it and whether he adds value. I think that he's he's gotten it to a place where he said it's basically cash flow uh, net even, like mm. it's breaking even at this point, which is a huge improvement over what it used to be. He laid off a lot of people, and he can still run the platform. In that sense, he's, he's running it better than it was run before. It's certainly a lot leaner than it was run before. I don't understand paying. Like, I, I get what you're saying about paying for the service. A lot of people... I, I would argue that we bring a lot of value to the service. So we're bringing something there already because we have a huge following and a lot of people who engage with us. But a lot of people who are using that platform, it makes sense for them to pay for it maybe, but why for verification? They're, right. not even, they're not even putting up an ID when they get verified. I'm not even sure what the verification badge means right now. Mm. The whole thing is kind of convoluted and confusing. But what Musk is doing is hysterical the way he's trolling these people. It's all entertaining. Well, no matter what you think about it, it's King. very entertaining. So Stephen King was, was trying to score points by saying, you know, I, I don't uh, want this money because he gave him a free blue tick. I don't want your yeah. largesse, you know. I want you to donate money to Ukraine. And Elon Musk responded by saying he's donated $100 million to Ukraine. Uh, that is a bit of a slam dunk. <laughs>